Um, no, I think uh, I think the guys just uh, they played a they played a, a clean, solid game today. Um, starts with our pitching. Nance did a great job. And, uh, the further he went, the better he got. And, but uh, I love to see the the fire and the fight that uh, that Peter showed there. And, and, um, you know, frustrated and knew that a couple pitches didn't didn't uh, get called to what he thought was the strike zone um, in big situations, and you can't take the emotion out of these guys. It seemed like a little more than delivering a message with force. I don't think we've ever seen you that angry. Can you uh, kind of walk us through what you were dealing with up there? You know, probably the most frustrating part of it was watching um, watching a player get thrown out of the game when he's walking away. And I understand you know, he's going to get his words in. The umpire stopped him. And it seemed like he told him that was enough. Peter stopped and started to go, and then he was tossed. Um, and the fact that, that I'd been able to, uh, to see a couple of pitches myself, and, and it was just as frustrated as Peter and the rest of our bench. So, once again, um, can't take emotions out of this game. Can you about uh, Craig? I mean, last year he'd come up with runners in scoring position. It was almost an automatic. It was nice to see him get that hit, wasn't it? Get to start, he's starting to hit the ball with some authority. Well, he's just you know, right from the beginning. His first at bat, great swing, drive the ball to the middle, and in big situations, you know, he's not going to, and he hasn't changed his approach. Um, it's just a matter of matter of him uh, getting locked in. It's not the runners in scoring position situations. It's just getting a good feel for his swing. And right now, he's got a good feel. And hopefully, we can ride it for a long time. Like pretty big start for Lance gets hit with the line drive and kept getting stronger. I think six pitches in the seventh inning. Seemed yeah. to have a lot of gas left. Yeah, he looked. And he's been known to do that in the past, too. The further he went, the better he looks. And sometimes, I think it just takes a little of that extra movement off uh, once he gets a little tired. But. Um, he uh, he had a great day. That uh, that ankle's pretty pretty swollen right now, and um, he was able to uh, to get it wrapped. Trainers took care of it well, and able to, to allow him to keep making good pitches. But it was a just a good outing all the way around. He um, he uh, he kept things under control and uh, didn't let it let it mount up at all today. Is it correct that it seemed like the ball had a little extra jump off Adams' bat tonight? Off Adams? Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. You know that ball carried to center field, and uh, he's. Uh, He's got that kind of power, and his power numbers are going to be there when it's all said and done, and he just has to, to stay with the stroke. He's got a nice approach going, and, and uh, he's just got that rare that rare kind of power. Um, we haven't seen much much of it. It's going to, it's going to continue, I think, to, uh, to impress us and improve. Back in the lineup, how much do you like the look of the lineup with him up at the top and hitting? Yeah, a couple big hits today, and then also a real nice play defensively, and you know, he turns him, turns the second. Turns the uh, double play the second really well. Um, he's just a he's a, an exciting player. He's got a lot of energy. He brings uh, electricity. You saw you know, everything close to him. He was diving in the first couple of innings. I think he was trying to uh, really put on a show. And I, I just think he's real happy to be back here and be a part of this club. And we're happy to have him. But Rosenthal, I mean, he was much more aggressive. You know, he's got ahead of the hitters and makes a big difference, doesn't he? When he's, got, when he's uh, dictating it to the hitters. Yeah, and I think it's just that aggressive mentality and, and making sure that he's ready once he gets out there and realizing that uh, he's not going to have you know, a whole lot of time to, to find a real good feel. Make, you know, he's altered his, his warm-up uh, process a little bit uh, to where when he walks out of there, he's ready to go or before. You know, and, and closers sometimes do that. They're shut down, they're held up, depending on what the score is, whether or not he's even going to be in the game. And, and I think there's just a, some fine-tuning to do. Uh, for him to be able to figure out exactly how, how to walk out there as best, and, and that may change year from year, year to year. How helpful do you think it was for Colton that his first game to have a game like that? Yeah, I think it's important. I think um, for for anybody coming up here, you want to get off to a good start, and he, and he had a good start for us. And, and to come back and show us what he'd been been doing down there, it's uh, reassuring to him that it's not just a Triple A thing. That uh, that same swing and that swing, same approach you know, plays here at the big leagues as well. What? What told you this was the right time to put Craig back in the cleanup pool? And this is actually the lineup you started the season with. Is that what you wanted to go back to anyway? Or? You know, I didn't go necessarily back to the uh, the archives to look at the uh, the opening day lineup, but <coughs> you know, I see Al, Al, uh, Alan getting so close, and there's just so many guys who have that ability. Um, and he's driving in runs. You look at his average, and, and he's still finding a way to, to get the runs knocked in. His average is a little deceptive right now, but uh, that's going to change as well over time. But he uh, he's doing about his at best the right way, and I I think we've said it many times when our uh, when our offense is right, 
and everybody's clicking, that's a great spot for Alan Craig because he can he can drive in the runs. And uh, did a nice job today. I don't know if you got the. I don't think so. I don't know if you got to see it live or if you've had a chance to see it even on tape. But did Gaddis actually have the ball in his glove when he tagged Borges out, or did he empty glove and then shuffle it over? You no, know, I didn't even see that. How do you account for Lynn giving up almost all his runs in the first couple innings and then after that being pretty clean? Um, you know, can't go back to the idea we were talking about earlier about as he gets deeper into the game, I think he, he's maybe a little less jumpy and he's not quite as strong with the ball's not running all over the place because basically what's got him into trouble is a lot like we talked about with Shelby not controlling counts and, and then having to get too much of the plate. I think he finds a real good feel for his sinker. He's going to live live and uh, die a lot of times with the movement on his ball and I think the later he gets into the game the more he has a feel of what it's going to do his four seamer might run a little bit and his, his sinker's going to sink um, but you know he uh, he's a guy that, that, that that's going to just figure it out sooner or later but we've seen him very rarely have we seen him in the late innings not have really good stuff it's usually those earlier middle ones that uh, that give him the most trouble